Well, welcome to the F55. Here you find us on the main deck of the F55, uh, and I'm at the helm position, as you can see. Um, this boat has got uh, a fully glass bridge, which gives you, this, as you can quite clearly see, a really nice clean uh, area to look at. Um, you can have an option two 16-inch screens here. We've only got one on this boat today. And there's a seven inch, uh, which is all your Volvo uh, displays. Uh, this boat uh, comes with a 900 uh, D13s. Um, great helm. You can, uh, as you can see, I'm sat down. Easy access to my throttles. This chair is fully adjustable. Or should I want to, I can actually turn this into a bolster. That's quite a few people like to stand up when they're maneuvering the boat. Um, great visibility. Um, what I like about this boat is you have the, the drop window. Uh, so you can have some nice fresh air. Now, if you're in a, a climate where it's a bit too warm to have that open, you do have your air conditioning vents either side, so you can get some natural air in there. Drinks holders there. Um, and a nice feature is the joystick control. Now, this is an option uh, we do with Volvo. So it's a Volvo rudder table, and that lets the um, rudders work independently of each other. So you can drive this boat, similar to an IPS, but it's not an IPS boat, it is on shafts. Um, variable speed thrusters, uh, you can have a, a, a stern thruster as well, should you want to, as the option easy layout. Very simple, beautifully done, I think. Um, nice little cubby hole there for your mobile phone. And so you want to drop a, an iPad in there, there's, there's space to look at that as well. Uh, and of course, the trusty compass. Looking out, you can see that a good view. We've got the sun pads up at the moment. Uh, with them down, that increases the, the view even more. And moving on, on to the other side, we've got a drop window, again, to let that natural air in. Um, another another cubby hole. This has got a, a socket and some USBs in there, so you can use it for your uh, phone chargers or your uh, iPads, but hide them away out of sight. Now, one of the really good things when we launched this boat that we had good customer feedback was, was the size of this seating area. You know, for a 55, this is a, a, a huge area for, for friends and family to sit down with. We've got a, a good size dining table, which unfolds out. Uh, and this can, as an option, be a, a high-low table which is also on a slide. So you can drop it all the way down, slide it out, so it becomes like a saloon. So it really doubles up the use of this space. Um, on the opposite side, lovely feature, you know, nicely designed table, you know, seat. This is theoretically a two-seater, but as you can see, you can fit far more people on than that. Underneath, if I can find it, good sized drawers, there's two of those, one either side. Trying to make that space that is often hard to get to as easy as possible. Behind here, we have the pop-up TV. So that lifts up so it really turns into a nice lounge and of course those big windows so if you're not watching tv you've got that view maybe not today in king point marina although the 85 is quite pretty but if you're in your anchorage really rather lovely down two stairs uh, that gives you a head height in the, uh, the master cabin i'm now stood over the engines and i go down one step now people often ask us why do you have a step down into the galley that's to give us a room for full height refrigeration so these are that's the step up to the flybridge there and we have to put the refrigeration underneath those. That's the space, so hence that step down. Good storage uh, overhead, under uh, obviously under counter. Uh, we have an optional dishwasher under there, should you want it. But we have a little drawers under there, bin, and the, and the cutlery is on this side. Good size locker underneath there. And then what's become quite a feature of Princesses now is that pop-up window, which really brings the inside uh, inside, outside, outside in. Um, turns this into a bar, turns it into a galley. Um, but you can really see yourself entertaining, being part of the whole of the family. I mean, trying to get away from that galley, be in the middle of the boat, and you're stuck out of the way of all the action that's going on outside. Over on the opposite side, we have a nice sideboard unit. Underneath here, we have storage for glasses, as well as uh, your, your bottles. Uh, you can have an optional ice make under there. This one's got the uh, stereo system. And then lastly, you have the another optional fridge on this side as well. But great, another you know, use for a bar, but it's really nice how you've got this under level lighting, just to make a feature out of a, a utility space. Coming out onto the aft deck, uh, we have another uh, dining room table out here. This folds out in similar style to the one in the saloon. Uh, good seating all the way around. Obviously the boat comes with full wraparound covers uh, as standard. Uh, snubbing winches on either side. And obviously underneath where we're standing now is access to the engine room and the lazarette. Staircase up to the flybridge. And then on this side, we have the option of having a third uh, helm station. So it pops out of here. You can have the joystick we showed you at the helm, throttles or um, thrusters and anchor control. Um, crew access is through this uh, locker here. 
Uh, so you've got a single uh, bunk down there with uh, bathroom facilities. Uh, there's an up-down platform on this boat. We won't show it just yet because, as you can see, we have an 85 pretty much parked on there and we'll bang our heads on those stainless steel anchors. Uh, but let's go and have a look on the, on the fore deck. So as I come up the starboard side here, um, I passed over two fillers. So one's for the diesel, one's for the uh, fresh water. We also have another diesel oil on the port side. So it doesn't matter which side of the uh, pond, fuel pond you go to, you can fill both sides. Although most people like to run a uh, hose either side and fill the tanks equally. But here we are on the, on the fore deck. I guess the, the key aspect of the F55 over, over previous boats we've built is, is this Portuguese bridge. You know, having somewhere to sit down uh, comfortably to enjoy the sun and often what we call the breezy end of the boat but often as you know when you're uh, in a marina the most private part you're not looking at the, the everyone walking down the pontoon really nice to sit up here on this size got lift up um, headrests uh, they can drop down to a degree on ratchets uh, so you can vary the, the level of your head um, and then coming over on here to the port side good size wing locker um, in here we can pop fenders you know your warps whatever you may need and there's also under there your waste tank pump out. Um, moving forward to the business end, past these good, good sized handrails for your guests when they're, they're, they're sat up on the sun bed. You also notice that the, the rails all around the boat are good size, so you feel a real purchase when you're holding on. Decent sized cleats and fair leads, uh, and then you get your capstan, and then two lockers either side as standard. One where the chain locker goes under, the other one where you can uh, store uh, warps, and you've got your controls for your uh, electric wind lift. So lovely fore deck, uh, I think stands out over the previous boats we've done of this size, um, but of course it gets great access and visibility of the guys up on the bridge. Now the 55 is a very important boat for us in, in the product range. Um, it replaces two highly successful models, the 52 and the 56. And what we hope to do is show you how we've evolved the the models. So as you can see we've got the amazing big brother windows that have become a real trait of Princess. Here you can see actually the, the line from the signature of the windows on the outside reflected here on the inside. Um, obviously an opening porthole. Good storage on this boat we have a vanity unit as well as plenty of drawers and cupboards uh, as you'd expect. Um, this can be mirrored on the opposite side of the boat. Uh, you'll see on this boat actually we've got a lovely coffee area. Um, Decent size uh, master bed uh, with uh, um, coffee tables either side that control obviously your reading lights as well as the lights of the whole bedroom. Underneath here is your water tank. Now that's low point, lowest point of the boat to keep the stability very good. But forward of that, we have some huge drawers. Now that's where we can store your laundry, um, more of I suppose the, over, uh, the occasional stuff you may use. And as you can see on the far side, we've got a really nice uh, uh, coffee table, whatever you want to use as, as your mobile office, or as I said, as an option, we can do that as storage. Now, moving forward of, of this side, we have a full-size wardrobe, um, his and hers, so you've got full height hanging on one side, and then uh, shelves, mirror, and uh, half height hanging just here. Obviously, you have the large TV, uh, and then we move forward into the ensuite. Uh, Lovely shower cubicle, good size uh, 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 sideboard for you know, toiletries, that sort of thing, as well as a cupboard behind, behind the mirror. Moving forward, washer dryer is stored underneath there. The other side of the, uh, the bulkhead or this door here is another large storage unit. And then we move up forward into the, the guest accommodation. Okay, moving out of the master cabin, we come up forward into the guest area, uh, to the, the guest bathroom or head. Uh, this can be used as your day head or as the, the guest uh, when they're staying on board. Um, really nice uh, unit there, lots of storage uh, as well as uh, medicine cabinets and of course uh, your shower unit which has got that lovely uh, port light there to let lots of light in. You do have a, a blind so you keep your modesty but really good use of space. And then as you pan around we're into our VIP, good mirror of vanity in there, overhead lockers on either side, full length uh, wardrobe and of course a good sized central line bed uh, with storage underneath there, big pull out drawers to keep all those uh, bits and bobs. TV goes on there should you want one and then we move out and into the twin cabin. So into the twin cabin 
these bunks, as you can find on many princesses nowadays, can slide together as an option should you want to, which gives you great versatility. Uh, double bunk, single bunk, traditional, really good window there, two opening lights, um, and then storage above. Um, two of those, so the knickknacks. Now underneath the beds, there's, there's pull-out drawers under these. These work whether the boat bed is together or apart, so it's a double-sided drawer. TV would go on there should you order one. And then in here, of course, your full hanging wardrobe with a, with a mirror. And as you come out, I think which is one of the things that's become a real nice thing about Princess is this nice open airy foyer for the, for the guest accommodation. You know, gone are the days where you came downstairs into the dark boat. It's now light and airy wherever you go. So here we are on the flybridge of the F55. I think you agree, quite a good space. Uh, we'll start with the wet bar. So underneath here we have a, of your sink uh, and your grill. This is a, we now use the Kenyan grills, which are quite a uh, versatile piece of kit. You can pop most of this in the dishwasher. Uh, so not only does it cook your food well and retain the heat, it also is easy to look after. Underneath we have plenty of storage. A bin, obviously drinks and bits and bobs underneath there. Moving forward, we have a cool box under there. It's got a refrigerated grill there, so you can keep your drinks in, inside cleaning. And then on this side, we have opposite the helm, a really nice sort of day bed area. Under here, pulls out, and you've got an infill cushion there. So it turns into a day bed, completely out of the wind. So when you're driving the boat, you could be with your crew or the family, as it were, talking with them. You might have noticed we have these lovely pop-up light lanterns, which add a bit of ambient light to the boat in the evenings. Now downstairs we saw that um, we have one screen, this one's got the double screens up here, or actually triple, because you've got the engine instrumentation as well, joystick, throttles, uh, oh no, thrusters. Now I'm sat on the, the bolster, if you want to raise yourself up, if, if, you're, if you're quite short like I am, or you can pop that down, which then pops you down out of the wind for those extended trips. But again, nicely well laid out uh, helm. If I go aft, you see, what is a, a really large seating area? Um, I don't know how many people you could sit up here, but there's more than enough room for what it's a class for. Big dining room table on this particular boat as a, a, an owner's request. This actually goes up and down as well. So once it's down, you can turn this into a, even more of a, a sun pad. This can be a smaller one like you've seen downstairs, so you can fold in on itself so it doesn't take up quite so much space. Uh, and then under here, we have our life raft storage. Um, out the back, you can put a, a canvas, uh, should you want to. Now obviously you can see this has got the hard top on. Uh, this hard top has got the opening section. Um, now of course you can order that with a normal bimney. Now those bimneys are standard uh, manual or you can have them hydraulic. So really quite a diverse range of options you can have on it. So here we are in the engine room of the Princess F55 and each side of me here you've got the Volvo Penta D13 900 horsepower diesel engines. Um, outputting through traditional conventional arrangement of gearbox and propeller shafts with the Volvo electronic steering system. We've got uh, two saddle fuel tanks each side of the engine room outboard uh, and combined they give a fuel capacity of 2750 litres uh, which gives the boat an optimum range somewhere between 250 to 300 nautical miles depending on your preferred cruising speed. Um, everything's pretty easy to hand for maintenance down here. You've got removable hatches in the deck tread here to give you access to the fresh water pumps for maintenance. You've got underneath me here the sea cocks and sea strainers for both main engines uh, and bilge pump access um, aft. You've also got the DC panels and the AC electric panels on the aft bulkhead here which are very easy to hand with tread plates over both couplings on the propeller shafts. Um, aft of the engine room space, there is room for a optional gyroscopic stabiliser, which um, is the Seakeeper 9 we offer on the F55, uh, and it proves very effective indeed when the boat's out at sea. You've also got the option to add an air conditioning plant in this space, which offers 78,000 BTUs of air conditioning capacity. The boat comes as standard with a 9.5 kilowatt generator which can be upgraded to 17.5 uh, should you go for the gyroscopic stabilizer or in fact the air conditioning as well. Um, what else can I tell you about the engine room? Not much else in here really to speak of. We've got the fuel 
filtration system here on the forward bulkhead to my left, which is the starboard side of the boat, and again on the, on the port side for the, for the port engine. Uh, you've also got the fire suppression system mounted here, which is fully automatic on the forward bulkhead. Uh, the boat also has a holding tank for black water uh, to the tune of 315 litres, and the water capacity for the boat is just over 600 litres. So here we are in the crew cabin of the Princess Flybridge 55 um, and it's a great space down here. It's a fantastic option to go for should you want the occasional crew member to run the boat or even a full-time captain uh, for your 55. You've got a 1.8 metre berth here uh, with side loading storage above and pull out drawers underneath. There is a window behind this privacy Venetian blind here in the transom and you've also got natural ventilation by way of an opening port light here and also in the bathroom behind me as well. Um, we've kept the sink in the cabin to maximise on space in the bathroom. So you've got storage under the sink here, uh, which is aft on the transom. And then behind me here on the port side of the boat, you've got a full height shower, as you can see here, and a very spacious head forward in this compartment as well. Uh, there's plenty of access to everything you might need access to when the vessel's underway. You've got your electronic steering systems behind the hatches here in the, in the bathroom and then at the bottom of the stepway into the cabin on the starboard side. Um, bilge space underneath with its own separate bilge pump back here and the shower of course has its own grey water sump as well. So in summary the Princess F55 crew cabin option is really great should you want to have an occasional crew member or even a full-time captain. There's plenty of space to live down here um, for extended cruising and if you don't go for the crew cabin option, this space is, is phenomenal. So you've got room for the dinghy, you've got room for lines, you've got room for fenders, extra tools, extra spares, whatever it may need. This space is, has plenty to offer. Now, I hope you agree, it really is quite a, a special boat, the F55, and very important to us here at Princess. Um, it's the first boat you buy in the Flybridge range that's a shaft boat. So it's an introductory to that type of boating for many of our uh, owners, uh, as well as being versatile when it fits in all marinas. Uh, depending on where you boat, you can normally fit a 55 into your marina. So really key to all of our dealers around the world. Uh, and talking of our dealers, should you want any more information on this boat, please get in contact with your, your local dealer uh, who will be able to give you more information on it. Thanks very much.